look at that. My favorite boxes are usually dresser boxes because that's where people put jewelry, collectibles, guns, coins, etc., etc. So you gotta think like the treasure. You wanna find treasure? Think like the treasure you're looking for. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, pirates of all ages. What's up? It is Monday morning. We are here in the pirate's lair. I guess the universe wanted me to tip some rest yesterday. I ended up taking like a four hour nap after my auction yesterday. Got up for my live and then just uh, cooked it and went right back to bed. Sometimes that's what you gotta do in life is you gotta recharge the batteries. That's what we did. So today, we gotta pack up an auction. All the stuff that sold yesterday in an auction. We gotta get to the post office with the stuff that's already packed and the stuff that we are gonna pack. Then we need to hit our storage and we gotta go through some boxes from the $34,500 storage unit and we need to make a video. So that's what we're gonna do today. Right now, I'm gonna, real quick, I'm gonna get started on my packing, get this wrapped up. Might take me like two hours, who knows? First thing we do is we choose some music to listen to. It is 1.30 now, getting ready to load the packages. This is everything we got. We got one stack for FedEx. We got a bunch of priority and first classes all the way out here. This is all the stuff from the auction from one ounce gold giveaway, et cetera, et cetera, mystery box. To those of you who missed the one ounce giveaway and didn't get to partake, I apologize. It was on my live two Sundays ago. We announced it. We had put the raffle copter link. Last night, we gave away 13 prizes totaling over an ounce of gold. Just a few silver coins. I appreciate everybody who's gotten here to 100,000 subs. If it wasn't for y'all, I wouldn't be at 100,000 subs. But let me let this be known. I'll hit 200,000 someday in the future. The faster we get there, which involves you guys like the video, share the video, subscribe to the video, et cetera, et cetera, letting the whole world know where to find the storage auction pirate, we will be giving away twice as much at 200,000 subs. So we're only 93,500 away to two ounce of gold giveaway. Appreciate that. I love y'all. Anyway, I'm going to go to the post office, then we're going to hit the $34,500 unit and do some unboxing, or we're going to unbox the Millionaire Doctors. I don't know. We'll decide when we get there, but that's what we're on our way to do now. Whole pallet I just dropped off worth of packages. Wow. And here we are. Time to decide. What is it we're going to film? We can film $34,500 storage. You know, we can film millionaire doctor unit. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, catch a tiger by its toe. If he hollers, let him go. My mama told me to pick the very best one, and you are not it. Wants us to go here. I'm a man of superstition. That's just how I always am. Don't know why. I, I don't believe always in superstition, but I also follow it. It's a weird path, but we are going to go through this unit here. See what we got. I'm always a firm believer that art is going to be the retirement piece. So, the world is Those are glass shelves and glass shelves only. These are just glass shelves. Let's try this again. This says pictures. shelf I believe again let's see Keddy Orient and then on here is a topographical map of Milford, Western United States, one of 250,000. That is neat, Los Angeles, okay. Here we got a map of Los Angeles. Interesting. MK1, MK1 scale. It's, it is a full breakdown of all the parts needed to make an MK1. Interesting. Could this be the art that's gonna set us into retirement? Adkins. Wow. That is nice, actually. I like the way that's done. No words on the back. Painted on cardboard. But look at that. Look at the quality in this piece here. Looks like a plain air oil painting. We'll have to look that up. This looks like a similar piece, but with no signature. 
very similar. That's a bummer. Nice quality piece though. Come on, then go. White Hat of the Month, 1960 R.L. Strudwick. Looks like a print though. Still nice though. H.W. Strudwick. It'd be a nice, nice place to actually spend some time right there. We got M.E. Allen. We got a no name. So we got like a church or a... What do you call those? Not Pueblo. I'm drawing a blank on what the word is. H.W. Strudwick. Look at that. The tree was cut down. Nice little meadow. Two more here. H.W. Strudwick. Got a lot of art. See, I feel like we're going to bring ourselves a very expensive piece of art someday soon. I feel like it's coming because the universe is like art, 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 art. Want to look up a piece of art? This is what I do. So Thomas C. Atkins, Landscape Painter, Hold Studio, C. E. Atkins, and so let's see what this is. Cause this says Thomas C. Atkins. Okay, so we're not getting Boathouse Sunrise by Thomas C. Atkins. That looks a little different than the one I have. No signature there. Let's try this, Thomas C. Adkins autograph. Okay. Wrong person again. We'll have to have this looked up because it could be Thomas. I don't know. My favorite boxes are usually dresser boxes because that's where people put jewelry, collectibles, guns, coins, etc. etc. So you gotta think like the treasure. You want to find treasure? Think like the treasure you're looking for. So far, we're looking at Through the Looms, Socks. Probably put bundles on the internet. We got a Joe Boxer, extra large, and rope. That's always handy. A Jan Sport, that is actually vintage. Fanny packs have been making a comeback. I'll put that aside for the auction. Ooh, another Jan Sport. This is money to me, actually. Chances are this is Pilates, but how will we know if we don't look inside? It is a Pilates ball and workout tape. That pretty much ends up at the flea market of... Kind of hat. Million dollar hat? No. Is a brand new vintage hat. Movers are sometimes the worst units to buy because they pack everything. You can often be fooled by the fact that movers moved it because you think oh this is going to be a great unit but the fact is movers are often paid by moving companies and they unpack everything but we got brand new slippers extra large the hunt for the treasure continues it looks like we got photos imagine that one of the many things these people left behind because they basically abandoned everything thousand two. Oh, yeah so somebody broke into the house it looks like Or they're renovating. Doors were busted in. Nothing. Ooh. Made in Taiwan. We got two golden geese. Not to be confused with the golden goose from Willy Wonka. Because, well, that's just make believe, right? Very fragile. Come on, priceless statue. What the heck is that? Cute little figure. Another one, look at that. <laughs> look, it is a unicorn, all oh, beautiful. Actually, it's just a horse. There's no horn, is there? Still, in my eyes, that is a unicorn. It is a mama horse. Look at that. So elegant and beautiful. Look 
and a palm tree. This reminds me of a very good invention I had one time. Fragile, and also says microscope. Let's see. Shout out to Benji for the new knife. A microscope. Not just a microscope, but it is an interesting microscope, actually. Bosch and Lom. This could be... Ooh. Interesting. This could be some money right here. Bosch and Lom B and L 7.7 by 3. No model numbers on here. I bet you this right here is money. I see so far is this one sold for $199 but with a different mounting mechanism. There's another similar one for $199. There's another similar one for $195. So I'm thinking it's in the $150 to $200 category. Usually the most expensive art will be in the living room. That's what we're trying to find. The most expensive art. The retirement. Um, not impressed with that right off the bat because usually most pieces like this do not hold extreme value. I don't know what that says. Let's look in the back. Artistic interiors. Bernard Strudwick, Bernadette and Richard. Ines, the artist is Ines. Okay. So the artist is Ines. C. Ines. All right. It used to have something high value in it, but it doesn't no more. Look at that. Bold, bold. ATX power supply. That might have some value on eBay. Unbeknownst to me at the current moment. Heat lamps. So this is a box of just plain junk. Some motherboards. Light bulbs. Oh, oh well. We brightened our light up. All right, we brightened our life up a little bit. I want these things. Like you're tired. That would make me happy. Respiratory breathing stuff. Another light bulb. Come on. Be a wallet full of money. No. But they are brand new. So that's kind of cool. Stuff like this I put in my YouTube auction. Don't forget to go to Pirate Auctions. Oh, look at that. Wacky Wobbler Olive Oil. Am I even filming? Yes, I am. Okay. We got more. Brand new low-end purses. They were bought for nine bucks and nine bucks. This is glue, rubber, and rubber bands. And then we got nylon flags. Look at that. Flags are always fun. United States of America, made in USA. These are vintage flags. From when? I don't know, but those will end up on a YouTube auction. As well as the US flag bulldog printing. Look at that. These will all end up on a YouTube auction right there. Always gotta look. Make sure it's not rare Ansel Adam photos. Small money, no. Slides, negatives, all sorts of. Bernadette dance spread. All the stuff these people walked away from and didn't want. A lot of people enjoy these though, and this type of stuff will probably end up on a YouTube auction. Just one big lot of slides and negatives. Exactly what it is too. Explains why I was so heavy. But what kind of books are they? Vegetable gardening, Pacific horticulture. Okay. Got a few good books in here I can see. Not that one. Don't really care for this. Alternative medicine. Perennials. What is this though? Starting light 
of Starting Lighting Ignition Service Engineering Company, Reed, San Francisco, California. This book right here has probably got some money in it. This could be a $30 to $100 book right here. We'll have to take a look into it, see what it's worth. Then we have this Random House Dictionary. And it's not, it is really a random house. So this right here is probably worth money too because it's unabridged and it's older. That one will end up in a different pile than most of these books. I've yet to really become a person doing books on the internet. So for now, I just kind of set all books in my storage and one day we'll figure out what to do with them. We're gonna to try to find a YouTuber or somebody to come and buy them all or teach us what to do with them. If I remember correctly, the first unit in the box was this one right here. Uncle Michael, I said, hey, let's just pack that later. We're not gonna go through everything. That's how we got all these boxes here. Could have something great in it, could not. It says photos. Oh, wow. Look at these. These are not just photos. They're auto crosses. Let's see what's inside. Okay. Somewhere out there. This is value too. Like, these are the little things that add up. Oh, he was an auto guy. So this could be have something to do with all of his years of racing. I don't know, though. No, that's not racing. Look at all these negatives right here. Wow. Let's try to turn them into positives. I'm looking for something to distinguish what they are. Sunset? Nope. These could have something to do with racing. They could just be family stuff. Vitamins. Please buy vitamins mean gold bars. Nope. This is all looking like vitamins. This one here says storage bedroom. I'll take that. Come on, jewelry box. Come on, priceless artifacts. Come on, jade statue. Come on, gold bearer bonds. I don't know what else we want to look for. Okay. It's not bad. What am I seeing here? Mickey and Minnie. What year are these? Kind of cool. You know me, you know I love Disney. The bag company. Le bag. We got more slides, okay? We got duct tape and we got bells. Kryptonite? Geos have been hot lately, so I might put that on a YouTube auction. Look at this whole box of rocks right here. That's money in certain certain circles right there. Interesting little piece there. A geode. This right here, I'll probably put this whole box on a YouTube auction just because it seems like fun. I know people enjoy this stuff. Be careful, Michael. It's a pink crystal. Pink crystal. A black crystal, maybe? Nice. As long as none of this is kryptonite. This will all end. Who's guessing what's in here? Whoa, what is that? That is pretty neat. What is that? It's like a slab of crystal. Interesting. Continue on. We got a lot more duct tape. I like duct tape, so I, let's see what we do with that. Low Lovejoy pipe threader or something. Interesting. That would probably end up on eBay. Bazillion and one little light bulbs. What to do with all this stuff? I don't know. Cassette tapes. Carousels of slides. Volume Alaska. So we got a vacation slide. Here. If 
found some cool stuff here. We got the crystals. We got some slides, some new stuff, some women's stuff, some guy stuff, some flags, a microscope. All sorts of great tringas that in my eyes add up to money. I'm already almost halfway back to my money just on the jade and this few items that I've put on auction on YouTube. And we got a lot of stuff for eBay. So this is going to definitely be a money maker. But I want something exciting. So I told myself we're going to call it a wrap on this video. I'm going to make another quick video of the 34500 So you have to stay tuned for that. There's also a playlist for both of these. You can just go to the playlist in my channel. You can watch them all. I appreciate you. I love you. Thanks for watching. Hit the like button, share button, subscribe. Say something pretty. And... Ah.